Hello princesses and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Charlotte Tilbury, you are positively killing me with all of these new releases. I can barely keep up. And today we're here to talk about the brand new limited edition Pillow Talk Lip and Cheek Glow. We're going to compare these little babies. We're going to talk about them. And as you can see, I'm at the spot in my makeup routine where I am ready for a little blush and a little bit of lip color so you've joined me at the perfect time before we take a look let me remind you as I did on my last video sorry to be a nag but if you could take a moment and please make sure you're still subscribed if you were previously subscribed YouTube is doing a bit of house cleaning and they have accidentally removed some of my subscribers um, it's the computer it's not on purpose but it happens so if you could check and if you're not subscribed, now's a good time to go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell. Okay, so let's talk about these limited edition Pillow Top Lip and Cheek Glow. You know, Charlotte on her website says that there are three Pillow Talk items sold every minute around the world, certainly in Great Britain, probably I think she means around the world. Three Pillow Talk items sold a minute. Pillow Talk has been a sensation for Charlotte Tilbury. Don't blame her for adding more. And these little guys are very, very precious. So we have these two lip and cheek glows. Um, do you guys remember way, way back, it was probably about 2015, which, you know, in fashion and beauty might as well have been 40 years ago, I get it. But uh, Charlotte Tilbury did a collaboration honoring Norman Parkinson, the famed fashion photographer. Um, and in that line, um, the line consisted of all sorts of things. She had a, um, she had some lipstick, she had a, a bronzing glow, but she also had a a lip and cheek glow, she called it, that was called the color of youth. Raise your hand if you remember that or you had that. These remind me a little bit of that. I decluttered it a while ago because it had gotten fairly old. So I'm so sorry I don't have it here uh, to show you. It was beautiful. I really should have uh, kept it as a collector's edition. My fault. But let's look at what we have here today and maybe I'll learn my lesson. These are also very collectible and I'm looking at them kind of fingerprintable too. So we have two shades here. Uh, we have Color of Dreams, which is slightly lighter berry color. <laughs> and we have color of passion which frankly we're going to call the slightly more berry berry color there's not a huge difference in the shades and they're 40 us dollars a pop so let's not just run out and buy both like i did okay let's talk about them and try them on and see they're precious you know they're really tiny i'm holding the um color of passion here. It's a really sweet little gold compact. This would be just adorable coming out of your handbag. But again, let's keep in mind $40 a pop and they're itty bitty. They're, look at that. It just kind of look at it in the palm of my hand and I have a fairly small hand. So these are small little precious little compacts. Um, let's see. So let's try the one on each cheek. And let's see what we get okay so here let's start with color of dreams and I'm just gonna do it with my fingers let's do a little swatch here there's kind of a double swatch um, I just put two fingers in of color of dreams it's a very gentle color I don't mind that because I'm heavy with my blush so let's see what we get here I'm just kind of patting it on oh it's really pretty okay so this side right here that you see me patting you know feverishly on is color of dreams Let's see, we'll do the lips afterwards. Let's just do the cheeks first. So there we go. That's really pretty. I, th I think I could probably stand to build it a bit more, don't you think? What do you think? It's really pretty. So I built this one up a little bit and I'm kind of rubbing it in as I tend to do. Um, and it's, it's a nice little flush. I am, remember, in Charlotte Tilbury's uh, foundation, I'm a five neutral. So if you're wondering about um, complexion color, that is the lighter of the two. And I'll go a bit easier here with Color of Passion, which we'll just call the um, more saturated color of the two. Let's just say that. 
Here it is on my hand, much, much deeper, I suppose. And here it is, so I'm doing a double swatch, I don't know why. Lighter, also called Color of Dreams. Darker, called Color of Passion, okay? So we'll just refer to them that way. And we're gonna give that to the left cheek. Let's just be a little bit easier with it here. Okay, oh, it's really pretty. Okay, so I'm just gonna kinda rub it in, and that took really about one one swab there. Okay, so here we go. We have Color of Dreams, the lighter color, and then Color of Passion, the darker, right here. Uh, I built this one up a little bit and didn't build this one up here. There's no need to be silly. And then we'll try one on each lip, okay? Let's try Color of Dreams, our gentler color. I'm finding all these different ways to differentiate them because the names that she has given them, they don't really work for me. There's no way that you can tell dream from passion. Passion is darker than a dream. I don't know. I, I, it looks like Charlotte Tilbury is changing a lot of her product names to better reflect the color that they are. Mm, she didn't do that here. So dreams is lighter. Okay, so let's do that on the top lip. Okay, that is... I'll zoom you guys in, very subtle. It's just on the top lip. Let me build it a bit. You know, this would be really pretty though in a handbag. Okay, and now color of passion, AKA the more saturated color. I mean, okay, this one shows a lot more and I'll build it too for you guys in my little mirror here to the side. All right, what do you think? You know, I think I'm actually preferring Color of Passion because Color of Dreams, I'm a five neutral. I really have to build on both the lips and the cheeks. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna do both lips. For me, Color of Passion is a quicker, it's a quicker swap because they're both very, very kind of sheer. This is beautiful. The compact is so pretty in the little mirror. I mean, you could just whip this out and just take a look at it really quick. I mean, you could even use the lid to take as a mirror. Um, they are adorable. They are sweet. There are a lot of cream blushes on the market. And this, These are $40 a pop. You definitely don't need both. I'm probably not the first to tell you that. Um, <sighs> yeah, I mean, they're, look, they're sheer wash of color, and I love that. And you know, if you've been watching me for a while, sheer for blush is the and buildable for blush is what I prefer because I can be a bit heavy-handed. And when I started this video, I had nothing on my cheeks or lips, and I think it's made, I'm looking in the viewfinder, a definite difference in my look. Very pretty, very, um, you know, fuss-proof, and easy to throw into your bag. I give this a thumbs up if you want to buy one of them, and if you already love Charlotte Tilbury. If you are not a Charlotte Tilbury collector or lover like I am, um, there are a lot of good cream blushes on the market. This is by far not the best, but it is extremely good, extremely sheer, and you are paying for this really adorable, pretty little fingerprinted <laughs> compact. Um, so I definitely do, I recommend this. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm gonna wear this a lot. I think it would look adorable in my handbag. <laughs> or I like to tell myself that. Um, but uh, don't get both. And I would say probably get um, Color of Passion. Because if you're using this, it's going to be for quick use, and that would just be bing, 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 done. Tell me what you think below. Did you order them? Did you order both? Are you skipping it and getting another cream blush instead? It is definitely the season of blushes, and having a nice cream blush on hand is always good. Tell me what you think below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And for goodness sake, I would love for you to subscribe and join me and help me build up my little channel here. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.